Welcome to this video just to show you what you get with the Mikofan 260C. Uh, the Mikofan 260C is the smallest in the range. It's the portable one, the cordless one that just runs off the batteries that you can carry around. So in your gift box you get cardboard packaging, no polystyrene, which is something that uh, I'm very pleased about. It means that the packaging can all be recycled which I think is very, very important these days because polystyrene can't be recycled. So pleased about that. You have the uh, fan itself, instruction manual, a little card to ask you to place a review because that's so important these days to help everybody out, and uh, USB uh, charging lead. Um, so you can charge the fan off your desktop computer off your laptop using a mobile phone adapter that you've got um, from uh, a phone. We've got plenty of those kicking around the house, haven't we? Um, always one of those around. The fan itself, though, does come with a charge so you can use it straight out of the box and it's really simple to use. But I do like this fan in terms of the way it feels and the way you interact with it. So the stalk here is metal and that really does give a much better feeling and quality about it than having it as being 100% plastic. It's nice to the touch and it's a reassurance that uh, you've got a quality product here within your hands. I do like being able to carry it around with me so I'll use it on the desk when uh, I'm working. It's quiet so it doesn't interfere with Zoom or Teams calls. Um, but it does keep me cool and keep me sane on a hot summer's day. But then I can take it up to the bedroom, I can use it at night to keep myself cool at night. I generally only use fan speed one. I find that covers everything I, I need. I don't need it to go uh, any stronger than that. And then it's also nice because you can take it out um, onto the patio and you can use it when we have those nice summer's days, when you're outside, enjoying the sunshine, reading a book, watching a video on your phone, whatever it might be, you can have this with you. So this is the fan I find that gets pinched the most by the children um, because where's my fan gone? I wanted to use it in the kitchen whilst I was preparing lunch or something. They've got it, they're outside. Um, so we end up having two or three of these in the house because it's the one that always gets um, borrowed the most. One button, very simple. Press once, fan speed one, lights up on the circle uh, around that button just to uh, confirm that. Nice gentle breeze comes off it. I find that's fine for most things I'm gonna be doing. Four fan speeds, just every time you press, you work your way through the fan speeds. Up to fan speed four, that's as noisy as it's going to get, but now it's really, really powerful. Um, so powerful that I've just blown a load of paperwork off the shelving over there. Uh, which I didn't mean to do, um, but that is really, really a, a quite powerful fan. Perhaps you might use it like that when you're outside. You can change the angle as you wish to whatever you want uh, and whatever suits you. Um, if I was to do a long press now, the light comes up underneath here. Really good for use as a night light. You can use it as a standalone night light or you can use it as a fan and a night light. But it's a really nice touch because most people uh, do use these within the bedroom um, to get a decent night's sleep. And having that night light um, is just some reassurance, especially for children. Um, long press on that again, we'll turn it off. On the back, that's where your charging point is um, if you want to charge it. Six hours of charge will give you about 14 hours on that single fan speed runtime. I find that's absolutely ample for probably a couple of days worth of use realistically. If you want, when you're sitting at your desk, you can do what I do, which is just to leave it plugged into the USB all the time. So you don't even have to think about it. And then when you finish work and then you start to move around, then you can have your complete freedom from any cables and carry it around with you to wherever you want to take it. Keep yourself cool whilst you're watching telly. As I say, take it out of the patio, preparing dinner. Who wants to be um, getting too hot in the kitchen? Take this with you into the kitchen and put it onto the side whilst you're um, baking or cooking dinner or whatever it is that you're doing. So 
without a doubt the most versatile of our fans and that's probably why it's my favourite. Finally, cleaning, very simple to do. All we need to do is remove this front cover. You probably can't see on the video, but at the top there's a couple of little uh, marks that just show you how to line up this front cover and how to unlock it. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my finger into the front cover, pull it towards me anti-clockwise, and then off it comes. So no tools required, really easy to do. You can then get inside here and uh, clean behind the blades, around the blades, and any dust that is built up in the outer casing. Perfectly safe to do that. Um, don't do it with wet, uh, with water, because um, there are some electrics in the back here and we don't want the water to get inside the fan motor. But a dry wipe will be absolutely fine or use a wet wipe and then dry any residue from the wet wipe. Um, you can get in behind the blades, no problem at all. No need to take them out. You can do all of that. Put the front cover back on. The clue here is the Miko logo. That's supposed to be the right way up and it's supposed to be horizontal. You have got the notches at the top as well. But basically you put the front cover back on. You'll feel it when it clicks into place. Turn it clockwise. It's now locked back into place and you're good to go. So that's the 260C. I can say probably my favorite out of the fans within the range. Um, enjoy. If you've got any questions, as always, please do reach out to us via the website. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.